Hello all. Here I have some of the main parts from a UB Tech Education U-Kit Intermediate Kit. Uh, main controller board inside that box. On off switch, plugs in there. An infrared sensor that I plugged in there. There are three, three pin ports on this side, two three pin ports on this side and a four pin for something down the road. Um, one of the interesting things about the way these parts are designed is you can daisy chase, chain them. You can put them in series. So I have a servo plugged in here to one of the ports, but then I've got the push button switch plugged in the servo, uh, RGB LED, seven or eight, I can't remember which, um, RGB LEDs plugged into the push button switch. And then over here, I've got a speaker plugged in and I grabbed a couple of parts to um, so we can see the servo moving better. So let me move this a little bit. Um, the connections are made with like this the white connector Grove port plugs in. With the parts all of them can be have to have two connectors so you can always daisy chain to something else and it doesn't matter which one you use as the input output kind of thing it doesn't matter which what which one you start with um the, the make they make great connection but they're also a pain to pull out so that's the one disadvantage to making something a really solid connection um the fingernails help i've gone to using really thin pair of tweezers to try and pry it up a little bit so I can grab. You don't want to always be grabbing by the cables because eventually you're going to pull the cables out. So be careful with that. So now let's go to the app and it's UKIT EDU, which is a free app. Let's just do a quick little coding to see the parts work. Um, I'm not going to go through models because it's not a model. It's something I've already made. It's something that's mine. It's not one of their models. So I'll just go to my project, start a new project, and we need to connect to it. So um, Bluetooth. I got to turn it on. That would be very helpful. And you see there, it's, it's lighting up like it's getting power and that. And there's some numbers there that they should match the numbers here. I search for it and it should recognize all of the things that are attached. So here's my main controller board. Here's my servo. Um, gray is going to be the IR sensor. I wish they had gray on there. That's obviously the LED. It looks like a LED eye. That's yellow because the push button is yellow. And then the uh, Bluetooth speaker is green, but it's blue. I think they should change the colors on that. Um, anytime you want to change components, you have to disconnect and reconnect. So just remember that. Um, so let's just look. Well, you know, when run is tap, do something. So when you hit play, do something. Okay. Um, there's a couple others, you know, touch sensor. I don't want to use that. You know, some different things going on. And those are more the beginning of things. Um, so let's see. Let's. Uh, Let's rotate the servo. There was something else I wanted. Rotate servo one. Um, degrees. Right now it's at zero. Um, it's going to show what it's doing. I just pick something. Okay. Um, so let's rotate the servo. Um, let's use the push button. Oh, let's use the push button to make the eyes light up so let's see let's get the eyes to light up show eyes and there's different ways to do eyes custom light we'll make it go all orange i don't know or half orange how about that and then we're gonna make that red white pink okay um but what uh, was push button let's see Oh, wait for the push button. How about that? Let's wait for the push button. Wait until... Uh, 
wait until touch sensor. And you notice how these all have numbers in them? I just happen to have uh, the LED too. If the numbers are on the device. So, because uh, there's two LEDs and there's four servos in this kit. So you gotta make sure you're using the right number. Um, so wait until that, so let's see, let's see what happens. Um, well, the servo's not gonna do anything because it's already there. So we may wanna have it start at zero. Wait until the push button. And it's not instantaneous when it acts, so good. Um, let's, let's have the servo start at, um, start at zero. All right, let's do that. Make it, make it set to zero and then move. Okay. Um, so we can see it moving. And now we want to use the speaker. Okay, so let's do a... Oh, touch sensor. Waiting for a touch sensor. And then it lights up. And it lights up really quickly and then goes away because, you know, that's how fast programs run. Um, look at that. Again, that weight is a great thing to add. Let's wait for a little bit. Um, 2,000. Okay. Milliseconds. Um, and maybe those aren't great colors to see in the video. And I want to use the infrared sensor. Let's see. Um, infrared, infrared, IR sensor, and obstacle distance. All right. Let's go just go back to that wait until. Or, man, nah, let's go wait until. Because if we do if... It's gonna look, it's gonna run it really quickly. So I just wanna see things working. So let's wait until the infrared sensor shows a distance greater than one. How about less than, and I don't know what, it, how much it can go. Let's try this. And then play a sound. Play a sound. And if I hold on there, I can copy. All right, let's see what happens. So set to zero, turn, wait for me to do the touch sensor, and then light up. Light up for about two seconds. Now wait for the ID sensor to detect something less than 11. Boom. All right, so there it worked, all the parts worked. Let's run it again. Set, turn. Um, it's waiting for me to touch the sensor. Touch the touch. Light goes on. Waits two seconds. Light stays on because I didn't tell it to turn off. And now it's waiting for the IR to detect something less than 11 centimeters. So it worked. Yay. Thanks for watching. More to come.